I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ain't. No, we ain't. <laughs> Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. We have reached a part of the show where we talk about our personal lives and our, our relationships and how we've overcome obstacles in our very own lives. Welcome to our queendom. All right, y'all, we just had one on here, a girl boss, and tonight's topic will focus on the misconception of the term girl boss. Now, the term girl boss has been popularized by women who are killing it when it comes to running their businesses. But media mogul Shonda Rhimes calls it bullshit. In the interview with Time Magazine, Shonda said, I think the girl boss archetype is bullshit that men have created to find another way to make women sound bad. Shonda believes that it's just a nice catchphrase to grab a bunch of women into a group and say, this is what women are doing right now. She added, no one says this is what men are doing right now. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think she has a point? Do you agree? And uh, what do y'all think about this? Do you think it's a bad thing or no? I, I can see what she's talking. I can see what she's saying because it's like it's going to be a trendy, you know, uh, uh, catchphrase, like she said. And she's right. No one says and comes up and be creative about what the men do because being a boss is being a boss, whether you're a man, woman, a child. You know what I mean? You running things, you doing stuff. You know what I mean? You making money and you're growing. You know what I mean? And so, what does it matter if you black, white, brown, purple, or green, or whatever? You know what I mean? Boss is a boss. That's my. Man. You know, <laughs> that's my two cent. Well, three. I cents. personally prefer head chicken charge. Oh, oh I thought you were gonna say head chicken. I was gonna say what? No. <laughs> head chicken charge. That's right. That's what I prefer. Yeah, I'm not a girl. First of all, right. That's, well, that's true. I, I I feel like um what she's saying I, is right. Glad she's she a girl. She a girl inside. I know that girl sad. Kind of sad. I oh, feel like what she's saying is right. But I'm like, 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 instead of like girl boss, like, yeah. you know. Okay, never mind. Right. Maybe I don't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Selena. Well, what I was saying was I feel like <laughs> I probably wasn't saying nothing, child. Back to me. Oh, okay. Okay. oh my God, like, y'all. I feel like the people, I feel like she was just trying to, you know, you know how you say well, why, what's the, you know, the whole strong woman analogy, how we be like, I don't want to be called strong no more. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's along the lines of that energy. I think sometimes we might be going a little too far with titles. Like, okay, girl boss. I think it is dumb that you have to put girl or woman or anything in front of it. I think I agree with Lisa Ray. A boss is a boss. Why we, why we got to call it a girl boss or this boss? You don't hear nobody talking about boy boss. So I, I, I do agree, but I feel like it's the same yeah. things that, you know, I don't want to be called strong, you know, concept as well. You know how black women say, I don't want to be called strong no more because then you think I don't need no help. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I think it's just in that, in that kind of energy, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's because agree. America is still as, as racist as America is. It's probably just as sexist, if not more, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, and the proof is they rather vote for a black man as president before a woman. And you're going to probably not see a woman for a long, long time, because even women in this country don't respect and trust and believe in other women. A lot of times, I think the term girl boss, we ain't girls, we grown ups, we get it. I think it started off as not to be an insult, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you know, but it, we're, we're, we're women, we're women. Um, I get what they were trying to say, but it is like someone said in the chat, it's kind of like saying, oh, you look good for your age. Or you're pretty to be dark, you know, all these little backhanded compliments right. that people try that they think they're saying something positive, but they're really not. You know, hey, we we are beyond the point the, the point where being a female and a boss is a big deal because there's plenty of them out there. Plenty of them out there. And a, and a female boss that has really shown us is Queen Elizabeth, actually. What she didn't been doing it since World War Two and <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Ray. Don't give it to yourself. I'm just saying. For real. No, for real. Me See? Well, let me say, I'm saying that because she ain't sensitive because a lot of times they say women can't run the world because we too emotional. You know what I mean? That we can't go off with your head and mean it. I could, okay. but I'm just saying. But she has shown that I can run this and been running this for a long, 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 long time. She's ran a dynasty, you know what I mean? And she's still running. And how old is she? Again, World War what two and one. She was from the first war. That's what I thought. Like she, like she, at a young age, she was doing it. At like 15. That's 
whole lot of you. This is a stupid. You gotta add. You gotta add. Okay. I hate y'all. Don't talk a commercial, girl. <laughs> and that has been our queendom. Oh, I love this show, y'all. I'm going to take a quick commercial break. <laughs> and all these women bosses will be right back. And shout out to Queen Elizabeth running things since 1852. <laughs> since 2012. <laughs> long, long, long time. Decades. <laughs>